Hi everyone! Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome! It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So, welcome to your readings for August of 2018. Summer is almost over. Boo. I know, it sucks. But, on a happier note, I want to give a big ol' happy birthday to the rest of the Leo clan that are finishing out your birthdays. It's your birthday season. I hope you guys had a great one. And I want to extend a happy birthday to the, Var the Virgos. Yeah, we're going to be going into your season soon. So, happy birthday to you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, so, down to business. These are general readings, okay? So, take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Yes, don't try to like fit something in there and then, you know, when it, you know, it really doesn't resonate, it doesn't fit. Yeah. Um, I am officially back in business when it comes to personal readings. Yeah. So if you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all of the information in the description box below, um, which includes the readings that I offer, a little bit about them and my email address. Yes. And their prices. If upon reading through them, you don't really know what reading you think would work best for you, just go ahead and email me. We can chat a little bit about your situation and then I should be able to decipher which reading would be best for you. Yeah. If you are in the New York City metro area, I will be at Om Shanti Bookshop every Monday from 11 to 5 p.m. That is located on 14th Street between 1st, I'm sorry, between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in Manhattan. Please come by and see me. I would love to meet you in person. You can either come through as a walk-in, you know, at the time that you want, whenever it's convenient for you, or you can go to the website, which can be found in the description box below, and get their phone number. And from there, you can schedule a reading in advance. Yeah, definitely works out well that way. For the readings this month, I will be using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck. Look, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Like, it's so pretty and golden. Well, actually, you can't, you can't really see it that way, but you'll see it when we get into the reading, yeah? And then I will be pulling some Oracle Guidance from the Fairy Forest deck by Lucy Cavendish. Yes? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think so. So, without further ado, let's get to it, yeah? <laughs> hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading for August 2018. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get started. All right. Hey Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Capricorn and all involved to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. Capricorn, I'm seeing a deep green color for you right now. Um, you're, you could, you're very much grounded. I mean, you are an earth sign. Um, to me though, the, the, the depth of this color, it's like a deep forest green. And forest green isn't bad, it's just, I'm picking up some sort of energies of maybe being, ooh, whoa, <laughs> sorry, uh, maybe being way too grounded. Ew. Yeah. I think, I think Capricorn, you need to lighten up a little bit. Things might be really intense around you right now, and that might be why you're, you're like so focused on being grounded more than you normally are as an earth sign, but that's only th making things more intense for you. Lighten up a little bit. Like, I want to tell you to force yourself to have some fun, but that's probably going to be counterproductive, counterintuitive. Um, yeah, you got to let go a little bit. You can't control everything, Capricorn. Cappy Cap. Capricorn. All right, last shuffle for you, Capricorn, and then we'll cut the deck. Gosh, you're stressed out, aren't you? I'm getting this intense pain in my back. You might be going through a heart chakra activation. Because this is pain I used to feel when my heart chakra was going through a major... Uh, wow. This hurts, Capricorn. 
So that could be that deep green color. You could be really going through a major heart chakra activation right now, clearing and cleansing. Overall energy, we've got the High Priestess. We're starting you off with the High Priestess. Situations um, involving intuition. Secrets. Hmm. Something could have been triggered by the moon cycle, the last full moon. Huh. I got to get into the rest of the cards here because true to form, this high priestess is pretty secretive. We've got the six of wands in reverse. We've also, oh boy, we've also got the eight of wands in reverse. We've got the two of pentacles and then the moon wanted to pop out underneath the two of pentacles. So check it out. You could be dealing with a Pisces with the moon here. But also, like I said, um, this, some, this could be a situation that it was triggered by this last full moon. Two of pentacles is... In the, is trying to keep balance, being unable to keep balance, but ultimately this is echoing the message of that I was saying to you of you can't control everything. Now, this is so crazy because I just did the Sagittarius video and there was a situation in which I was feeling like there was a Capricorn that, um, uh, that someone was, that the Sagittarius was releasing. And when it came out in the rest of the reading, um, there was a moment where the King of Swords upright came out with the Emperor in reverse. And I was saying how someone is being cut out because they were way too controlling. Also, the High Priestess, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Eight of Wands in reverse all came out in that reading. So you might want to go watch that Sagittarius reading. The six of, when the Six of Wands came out, I picked up on a breakup. So, okay, Capricorn, there's something going on in your life right now in which you feel like you've lost or someone around you feels like they've lost and communication is cut off. Someone feels like they've lost with the Six of Wands in reverse and communication is cut off with the Eight of Wands in reverse. You could definitely be dealing with a Sagittarius or another fire sign. Aries or Leo. And because, because communication has been cut off, um, there's a lot of secrets with that high priestess. But ultimately, yes, there might be secrets on the outside, on the external, because someone's not communicating anymore. But what the high priestess is really saying is, stop trying to control so much in the, in the physical and start going within and listening to what's happening internally. Like, I literally feel the High Priest is trying to get your attention, to get you to understand some things, to reveal some secrets to you. But you're so focused in the physical world and keeping control and balance of, the, of your world physically that you're um, missing the messages that are coming through or trying to come through internally. Instead of trying to communicate outside, communicate within now. Because that's where you're going to start to have your realizations. That's how you're going to be able to understand what's actually going on right now, Cap. Okay? Getting into your storyline, we've got the Hierophant. Uh, learning. Well, teaching. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Well, learning from your higher self, though. You could be dealing with a Taurus. But I'm definitely picking up an energy of learning. Especially since the High Priestess is the counterpart to the Hierophant. They're both trying to tell you something. Yeah, look, learning. Knight of Swords, upright. Coming to a, a, a better understanding of the situation. And your involvement in it, specifically. Because ultimately, that's what you're going to learn the most from. It's not about, it's not about 
picking apart what the other person did. No. You can't control what the other person did, Capricorn, or someone associated with a Capricorn. All you can control are your actions in the situation. And that's what the Hierophant and the High Priestess are trying to get through to you. Okay? Moving forward. <laughs> Justice in reverse. You could be dealing with a Libra. But yeah, there's an injustice here. Coupled with the Knight of Swords, upright. Word vomit. Hasty behavior. Shoot first, ask questions later. You're damn right, that's an injustice. Someone in this situation was very quick to judge. And I feel like that was the Capricorn. Again, shoot first, ask questions later. That's not healthy. Moving forward, we've got Six of Swords. Excellent movement. Moving forward. Yeah, you guys are probably going in your own separate directions right now, but that's absolutely needed. Coupled with, good, the Seven of Swords in reverse. Moving away from deceptive behavior, moving away from self-defeating behavior in some cases. And this is synchronistic. You've got the Six and the Seven right next to each other, coming out right at the same time. What I'm really getting from this Seven of Swords here is whoever was so quick to judge. Okay, so whoever was on the receiving end of that energy of being, of being judged too quickly or unfairly, don't take it personally. Because ultimately, whoever was, whoever was exhibiting this energy here, Justice in Reverse with the Knight of Swords upright, they, they, they do that with themselves too. And that's where the deception comes in, the self-deception, the self-defeating self energy, the self-sabotaging energy. This isn't Five of Swords, no, but it's the Seven of Swords. And that's just kind of the energy that I'm, I'm, I'm getting from here because ultimately you will be stealing from yourself when you exhibit this sort of energy upon yourself. And so now someone is starting to move away from that, okay, to some calmer waters. Moving forward, we've got... Ooh, King of Cups, reversed, with, whoa, ho, ho, there's that King of Swords, yeah, oh yeah, if you, oh yeah, if you are dealing with a Cap, with, with, with a Sagittarius, you need to watch that video, because the King of Swords came out with the Emperor, and the Emperor was reversed, now the King of Swords is coming out, both times upright, but with the King of Cups, Someone is cutting out emotionally manipulative behavior, behaviors or people. So Capricorn, if you were this person that was too quick to judge, you were most likely emotionally manipulating someone. It may not have been in an effort to specifically manipulate them emotionally, but by default, that's what it became. Instead of being open to fair communication about whatever was going on, you just snapped to judgment, which ultimately was emotionally damaging to this other person and to yourself. You got to cut that out. Moving forward, we've got, good, the Ace of Swords, an aha moment, an epiphany. Coupled with Knight of Wands in reverse. Again, watch that Sagittarius video. Because <laughs> the Knight of Wands came out in reverse as well. This is hasty movement. This could be a fire sign. Specifically, it could be a Sagittarius walking away from you. And you starting to understand why. Or you could be walking away from a Sagittarius and understanding why. Or a fire sign, whatever. But it doesn't have to be that. It can be anybody. But someone's walking away. Someone is not putting forth this passion and fire anymore. For some very valid and legit reasons with the, the Ace of Swords up right here. Moving forward, we've got... Aha! The Magician in reverse. Manipulation. Coupled with... 
Oof, the Knight of Pentacles. So this could have been you, Sagittarius, as in, I'm not Sagittarius, I'm sorry, uh, Capricorn. Um, and I really do feel like this is, this isn't, this is you, Capricorn, or this could be another Earth sign. It doesn't have to be, it could be anybody. But what I'm really getting here is someone was manipulating the situation, but staying stagnant in old energy, like, like manipulating the situation from the place of, um, uh, of stagnancy, like not willing to change. And so trying to manipulate the situation so that they can stay as they are currently, even though as they are in that moment or as they were in that moment was toxic to themselves and to others. Yeah. All right. Moving forward. Whoa. Jeez. The Two of Cups in reverse. Again, came out in the Sagittarius video. And the Queen of Cups. But the Queen of Cups is upright. Um, I want to say a relationship is over and someone is really not sharing their emotions about it. Mm-hmm. But someone is really, there's, there's some deep intuition here. There's some psychic knowing going on with this. There could be a situation in which someone is intuitively starting to understand that this situation may not work out the way they, the way they want it to. There is deep emotion, emotion here, that's for sure. It might be overwhelming, but it's not something that whoever is feeling it can't handle. Because the Queen of Cups is upright. So she can manage, like she can she can do it, she can handle it. But I'm just feeling some very <clears throat> excuse me, very, very deep emotion right now. And we've got the counterparts. Because the King of Cups came out over here, and the King of Cups is is reversed. But I'm picking up an energy of the Queen of Cups, like, taking her dignity and going elsewhere. Knowing that this relationship is not ideal. In whatever way that resonates with you. Finally, we have... Okay. Good. Five of Swords in reverse. But see, this is a shit starter card. So someone's releasing this shit starter energy. This manipulative energy. Five of Swords in reverse is coupled with... The hanged man in reverse, because enlightenment has been gained, has been, has, has been achieved. Someone really starts to, is starting to see, or has really seen the situation from a different point of view. And I really feel like that's whoever is depicted by this two, this, this uh, uh, queen of cups here. Someone is starting to really, has really, is starting to, or has seen the manipulative ways of the other and is understanding that balance will not be, cannot be brought into this situation without the full cooperation of both people involved. Uh, the, uh, the hanged man in reverse is an energy of not keeping yourself in isolation anymore. I'm picking up. For some of you, this relationship might have really isolated you from the outside world. And you may have gotten real conflict from your partner whenever you wanted to, like, I don't know, go out for a drink with friends or some shit. That's incredibly manipulative. All right. Oracle guidance for this Capricorn reading. All right, Spirit. One card, please, in relation to this reading. One card, please, Spirit. One card. The 
we go. All right, card number 36, the Yule Singer. <laughs> Rebirth, Feasting, Joy. And this is a card of number nine, so this is Endings. This could have something to do with the holiday season. Huh. I mean, it's August. I know we don't. I know we don't want to talk about the holiday season right now. <laughs> but anyway, that's something that I'm picking up there. All right, card number thirty-six. There is. There could be an energy of you being back on your feet or feeling refreshed, rebirthed after this situation towards the holiday season. Okay. The Yule Singer. Rebirth, feasting, joy. There are times in life when our light dims so that it seems it may go out for all eternity. But when this time comes, you are being put to a great test. If you persevere at this time, you will experience a depth of life experience that will lead you to begin reshaped, transformed, and in many ways, changed. You are undergoing such an experience at present. And this card is here to share with you that at such a time of great darkness and suffering, a new light will shine and bring you back to life, a kind of reincarnation within the same life you are now experiencing. When this takes place, the Yule Singer will come to you and sing to you the song of your deepest self. You will open up with this song and begin to live again. The pain will dissolve slowly, and surely you will enter into a time of joy and light, while the flame of your spirit rises high once again within your soul. Expect new friendships, easy connections, fortunate moments, and growth when this beautiful card comes to you. The dark times are done with for now. You are stronger, brighter, and beginning once again a bright new cycle. Sing your song. And honestly, as I was reading that, I really want to say to those Capricorns who are on the manipulative end of this situation, I want you to understand that you can be reborn from this. Ultimately, whatever happened here, whoever was the shit starter here, you're not really all that bad of a person. There are just some things that need to be reshaped. All right? So I don't want anybody to get discouraged or feel like they're, they're an awful, terrible person or I'm trying to come down on them. It's just the energy that was coming out here between this reading and the previous reading, the Sagittarius reading, it was just like confirmation. So it, yeah, it might, the tone might have been a little harsh, the message might have little bit, been a little harsh, but ultimately it's something that needed to be heard by somebody. Okay? And this is not all Capricorns. You could be, Capricorn, you could be on the receiving end of this manipulation. Could have been by a Sagittarius, to be quite honest. These are general readings. The energies are interchangeable. But just the fact that in that Sagittarius reading, flyers came out, the devil came out, and I picked up specifically on a Capricorn that was being manipulative and toxic and was so stuck in their self-deprecating elements that it was destroying this relationship or whatever. Went through the Sagittarius reading and that came out a little more. And then I get to the Capricorn reading and a ton of the same cards come out. Can't make this stuff up, guys. All right. So anyway, I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of September. Yeah, take care. Mwah. Bye.